this video on getting started with Android emulator inside the Android Studio. I'll walk you through the steps to set up and use the emulator for testing your Android applications. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And also make sure you share and like the video, because this will help the, ch the channel a lot. So let's go ahead. Let's look at the system requirements to get us started. So before we begin, make sure your computer meets the system requirements. You need at least 8 gig of RAM, a 64 bit operating system, uh, a 16 gig of bits as minimum or bare minimum. So if you're using Windows, Mac OS, Linux or ROM OS, ensure your OS version is up to date. Okay. So if you've got all the requirements, let's go ahead. You also need to obviously install the Android Studio. So if you haven't already, download and install the Android Studio from the official website. Follow the installation instructions, uh, instructions specific to your operating system. So once you're done with that bit here, let's go ahead and create a new project. So let's open our Android Studio. As you can see, I've already opened mine here. And I've got the new project dialog open. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, select one of these project templates. So as we can see on the left hand side here, we've got a bunch of templates that we can use. Okay, so let's have let's look at a basic views activity project. Okay, and let's select on the next. So here we can configure the project details like the, the given name. And the package name and the location of the project and whatnot yeah so here the language we got to make sure that we select the Kotlin yeah and then the, select our minimum SDK okay so your app will run on approximately 97.4 percent of Android devices okay and then the build configuration language let's leave it as it is okay and click on the finish So as you can see here now, we have a new project created for us now. Obviously, the project name is my application. Yeah, I mean, if you change the application name, that, that, that's fine. So here, let's look at what we've got inside the project. Obviously, we've got a, a bunch of files to get us started, but the main application resides in the app folder, and we open this the, the SRC source. Yeah, so this is where we've got most of the project. Yeah, so you can have a look at the main and the, the main, yeah, the areas contains the resources and then the Java contains the, the code here. Yeah. So let's look at the main activity, the first fragment and whatnot. Yeah, we'll have a look at it later. Yeah, but first of all, let's have a look at how we can set up your our emulator. Okay. First of all, so as we can see here now, it's actually we requiring us to add a configuration yeah so here you can select new to add a new configuration and then we select uh, the application type so in this for this video this is android application yeah okay so this will actually open a, a, conf, uh, a, conf, a, conf, a configuration settings yeah so as you can see here now we've got a bunch of things that we can use so as you can see the module there's nothing inside so let's Let's cancel it here and right click on the app folder. So here, so here on the app folder, so as you can see here now, yeah, we've got a bunch of things that we can do. So we can run and uh, we can debug and, and whatnot here. Yeah? So these are the more run debug stuff that we can do, yeah. But what we're going to do, so as you can see here now, we've got something appeared here. I've got an Android emulator here, which is called Snoop here. So let me have a look, let me show you something. So if you've got a Visual Studio, first of all, I'm going to show you how we can use our Visual Studio emulator here. So let's open our Visual Studio if you have one. If you don't have one, skip to the next bit here and open the Android Price Manager. So here I've got my Android device manager, so I'm just going to start it. So I'm going to start the emulator 
inside a Visual Studio. Okay, so right, so right now, the, the emulator should pop up in a bit, in a moment. I'm just going to close the, the Visual Studio. So now, as you can see here now, we have the, the Android emulator from our Visual Studio open, okay? So let's have a look here. So as you can see here now, we have the, the, and, uh, the Android device running here. So let's go ahead and select, um, uh, click here. So let's go ahead and click on this bit here and then open, I mean, click on the tools. So here, let's select um, the device manager. So this is our device manager here. So as you can see here now, we have the, the one that I opened on the Visual Studio showing up or showing here. So to add a new device, here, let's click on this plus sign here. So here we can create a virtual device or we can select a remote device. So let's click on the create a virtual device. So as we can see here now, there are a bunch of stuff that we can use. We can use the, the OS. I mean the desktop you can we can select the TV you can select the phone so here as you can see here now we have the phone selected okay so let's have a look so here once we've selected okay here we have a small medium device pixel phone and whatnot here so let's select this bit here or let's select the medium phone and click on the next so here as we can see here, we've got a bunch of a bunch of um, devices that we can use. So some has Google Play, others don't. Okay, so we have a pre-selected one as the Vanilla Ice. Yeah, it has the Google Play and it's a it's an API level thirty-five and it's Android fifteen. So we can do so by clicking on the download here. So as we can see here now, the download has already started. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, so as you can see, it's a it's a very big file, yeah. So I'm I'm just I'm just not going to download and and set it up, but you see you see what you can do, okay? So you can do exactly the same thing here with it, okay? And once this bit has been downloaded, you can open it, yeah. So I'm just going to cancel it. So there's no point for that as I've already opened a, a new device, okay? So what we do next is uh, let's run it here uh, on the device to see what actually comes out of it. Yeah. So to run it, you can you can select on this bit uh, on this play you know, on this green play. Let's have a look at it. You can debug it by selecting this bit here, or you can expand it with more options. Okay. So here, as you can see, this is our configuration. So everything is being set up automatically. So as you can see, the module right now is a is an app dot main folder, and then the default. Port APK. Okay, so everything is fine here. So you can select here by running it, or you can select Shift F10. Let's let's select OK. So I'm just going to select the play button here. So as you can see, the run has already started. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing completes. So as you can see here now, we have the app being run here now. Yeah, so it's a very simple stuff to get started. Yeah, so I hope this actually helped you. But before I set, before I complete a sign up here, you can also add your your own um, physical device by pairing it, either using a over the Wi-Fi or using it using a code. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is the steps that you can go through just to set your own physical device. Okay, so I'll leave this video here for now. So I hope this actually helped you to set up your Android device. If you have any issue, please don't hesitate to drop a line and I'll do my best to, to reply as soon as possible. So once again, please subscribe, share and like the video. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.